Uh, president of the Chicago Board Options Exchange, John Palmer, has revealed his optimism uh, on the approval of the Bitcoin spot exchange traded fund and its effect on the cryptocurrency landscape. And the Cibo E Digital's president uh, shared his optimism in a recent interview on Bloomberg TV uh, on Tuesday, January 2nd. And his remarks were made uh, one week before the SEC's mandatory deadline uh, of January 10th, in which the regulatory watchdog is expected to decide whether or not to approve the spot BTC ETF. Uh, according to him, Bitcoin spot ETF will attract new institutional investors following approval from the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. Uh, Palmer stated, quote, uh, I think seeing that approval is going to pave the way for pension funds and RIA-based funds to be able to invest in assets in a spot Bitcoin ETF where they may not be able to gain that access today in just a native spot Bitcoin token. Furthermore, he has asserted that any potential approvals for an ETF could change how institutions approach derivatives such as futures, contracts, and options. And in the interview, Palmer highlighted that an ETF approval sparks a broader crypto ecosystem. Due to this, there are more large investors and institutional players who are used to hedging risks. And Palmer expects a large growth in Bitcoin derivatives products with a possible spot ETF approval. Uh, he asserted that the institutional players will eventually lean on to these derivatives more and more effective to hedge risks. Now, when asked about the breakdown between more institutional investors and retail investors on the derivatives aspects, Palmer stated that the breakdown is difficult to decide yet. This is because we are on the wait and see, but he believes institutions would generally lead the way with participants in the spot Bitcoin ETF utilizing the hedging tools. Uh, however, he also noted that the retail will also look for that uh, as well. He further highlighted uh, a broader international following in retail in terms of uh, obtaining access to uh, derivatives in cryptocurrency. Um, Fox Business journalist Eleanor Terrett recently underscored her take on the approval of the Bitcoin spot ETF by the SEC. The journalist took to X, formerly Twitter, to weigh in on the affair. And then right in in the expos, Terrent underlined how unpredictable the SEC's decision-making process is. And while the SEC is surely unpredictable, it would surprise me if approvals were to happen tomorrow, she stated. Uh, Tourette noted that through conversations she has had with uh, issuers, the SEC needs to evaluate and provide feedback on the modifications made to the S1s submitted on Thursday and Friday. Uh, furthermore, the regulator may inform the issuer of the S1 form's final submission date uh, after this review phase, which might take place uh, in the next 24 to 48 hours. However, this is if the SEC decides to mirror the approval timeline to the Ethereum futures in October.